Good morning, friends, and welcome to Circle Time. Are you ready to sing along with me? Great. Good morning, all my friends. How are you? Good morning, all my friends. How are you? It is such a lovely day. I am glad you came to play. Good morning, all my friends. How are you? All right. Today is Wednesday, and today is ooey gooey day. That means we're going to talk about all things icky sticky. And we're going to make some oobleck today. Super, super fun. And I'll show you some slime recipes with mom and dad if you want to try making slime at home. And we'll sing some ooey gooey songs. All right. So today is June 3rd, number three. It's my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, Nicole. So I have to make up ice cream cake later for her birthday. We worked on that after circle time. And let's sing our Days of the Week song. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Domingo, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sabado. What's the weather like today? Well, today is going to be a really hot day. <laughs> On a hot day, if we're playing outside, we get icky, sticky, and sweaty. So you might want to put on a bathing suit and flip-flops and go out and play in the sprinkler or in your little pool today. It'd be a good choice. What's the letter? Today's letter makes the sound yeah, yeah, like in yellow. And yeah, yeah, yo-yo. And yeah, yeah, yogurt. Do you know what letter I could be thinking about? I'm thinking about the letter Y. Y has a line down and two diagonal lines coming in together. Y. Y is for yellow. Y is for yarn. Y is for yogurt and yo-yo. <laughs> the letter Y. You know what? We're at the letter Y. You know what that means? We've almost talked about the entire alphabet. We only have one letter left. Wow, we've been doing so many circle times on our computers and our screens. We went through almost all 26 letters. Wow, it's been a long time, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, it's time to rhyme. Do you know some words that rhyme, words that rhyme, words that rhyme? Do you know some words that rhyme, words that sound the same? Today, we're going to rhyme words that sound like hat and cat. Can you think of some words that sound like hat and cat? The big fat cat sat on the mat while wearing a hat. What do you think of that? <laughs> I like to make rhymes with cat and hat because they're really easy. And there's lots of words that sound like hat and cat. There's a book by Dr. Seuss called Cat in the Hat. And there's lots of rhymes in that book. I wonder what today's color is. Hmm. Oh, today we're going to look for the color purple, my favorite color. Do you remember how to say purple in Spanish? Morado. Muy bien, boys and girls. Purple in Spanish is morado. Can you think of some things that are the color purple? A purple ice pop. Ooh, that's the flavored grape. So yummy, yummy. Beautiful purple flowers are growing in your garden outside. That's awesome. You have a purple blanket on your bed. That's cool. I like purple blankets. Oh, wow. Your mommy has a purple, a purple purse to put in some purple things. Does someone have the book Harold and the Purple Crayon, that's a really good book. Nora has that book upstairs in her book basket. And today's shape we are going to be looking for, diamonds. But this says rhombus. The big math word for diamond is rhombus. And rhombus has one, two, three, four diagonal lines. And one, two, three, four points. Let's meet Danny Diamond and his brother Randy Ramis. I'm Danny Diamond. I have four sides. 
all of them are diagonal lines. Randy Rhombus says the same thing. I have four sides. All of them are diagonal lines. Thanks, Danny. Thanks, Randy. See you later. <laughs> all right, my boys and girls, it's time to count. Okay, we're at the gumball machine and we're gonna practice counting to the number 16. One and six together make the number 16. Now, you may notice the gumballs are a little bit different on my gumball machine right now. We had lines across that had five, five, and five, plus one more to make 16, but they changed. Let's count how many are going down. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Let's check the next group. One, two, three, four. Hmm. That's the same as the first line. Let's count the third line. One, two, three, four. Four again. That's the same as the first line and the second line and the third line. Let's check the last line. How many gumballs are in the last line? One, two, three, four. Wow, all of these lines had four gumballs. I wonder if we count across. How many gumballs are in each line across? Let's check it out. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the First line had four gumballs. Let's check the next line. One, two, three, four. Four again. So the second line had four gumballs. The first line had four gumballs. That matches, that's the same. Let's check the third line. One, two, three, four. Four again. We're counting a lot to the number four here. Let's check the last line. One, two, three, four. Wow. So each line has four going down. Four, 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 and four. And each line going across has four, 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 four. Hmm. That's an interesting observation. Let's see if all those fours put together get us to the number 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Hmm. It was really easy to count to the number 16 when all my gumballs were in lines and rows of four. This is some really big kid math stuff for you. This will come back in the future. <laughs> You'll have flashbacks of Miss Jen counting rows of four when you're learning your multiplication tables. Let's count in Spanish now. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis. Muy bien. And let's count in Chinese. I, er, san, su, u. Leo, chi, ba, jo, shu, shu, i, shu, er, shu, san, shu, su, shu, u, shu, leo. Excellent job, boys and girls. I have one more song we're going to sing together about being icky, sticky, ooey, gooey. I want to know who at home likes to touch sticky, sticky stuff. I love to touch sticky, sticky slime and sticky, sticky putty. And I like to take the glue and rub it on my hands and then let it dry and peel it off. Some moms and dads might remember that from when they were kids in school. Well, I want you to think about some sticky stuff when we sing this song. It's called, that, That's Icky. And it's this tune of Clementine. Ooey gooey, ooey gooey, oh so sticky icky too. Can you think of something gooey that you don't like stuck to you? I think some friends don't like the feeling of sticky mud on their hands. I think some friends don't like when the pancake syrup drips down your arm when you're dipping your waffles in the pancake and eating it. 
I think some friends don't like the feeling of honey, honey rolling down your arms or sticky, sticky peanut butter. That makes your fingers really sticky. Can you think of some more sticky things that you maybe like or don't like? And share them with me on Blooms. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you later for some more videos and some icky, sticky stuff. Toodles.